So this example here is going to be more of a real life example. So there isn't even, uh, in this case, there isn't that there's loads and loads of trigonometry. It's more you have to kind of look at it from the real life perspective. What is this saying? And that's how you're going to solve this problem, okay? So pause the video, uh, read the question here, try and solve it. And then at the end of the video, you'll know if you can skip the end uh, and you can see if you got it or not. It's the best way of kind of learning. But anyway, I'll go through. So we have two castles here, the two yellow castles, and there's a drawbridge in between them. So that purple thing here is a bridge. Um, and when the bridge is down, the two purple sides meet perfectly. So uh, when the people want to cross from one castle to the other, they lower the two bridges and they meet perfectly in the middle. Uh, and it says, how far away are the ends of the bridge from each other? So how far is this end from this end at the moment when it's 33 degrees? Okay, so the trick to this question basically is imagining the bridges being closed. Okay, so you can't do anything until you do that. So I'm going to... Um, yeah, I'll do it in red here, okay? So I'm just gonna draw it underneath. So imagine this bridge is now closed. Okay, it's completely down. And then this bridge is also, I'm just gonna draw it under the green. Also closed, and it's completely down, okay? And they meet perfectly in the middle. They're the same size. So if this is 18 meters, then it means each side of the bridge is nine meters. And that also means that the purple thing here, since it's the same thing, it's just lowered. Uh, this is also nine meters. So I'm going to write that in here. I'm going to go nine meters and nine meters. And to be honest, that's the biggest trick of the whole question. Once you can figure that out, the rest of it shouldn't be too difficult. And then what we're trying to find is this distance here. I'm going to call this X. Okay. Okay, so to really try and solve this, I'm going to have to redraw the triangles, like I was saying. Uh, I'm not going to bother naming the points in this one, just because uh, it's just going to be one simple diagram. But... Um, yeah, redrawing the, tri the triangles into separate little triangles is di still definitely very helpful. So it's going to be one triangle here. Uh, and I'm drawing, just, I'm just dropping a straight line straight down, okay? So you can do that if you want. And if you drop a straight line, you know it's going to be a right angle. And then there's going to be a little bit of a gap in between there. And then I'm going to draw the second triangle there. Okay. And this is also going to have a perpendicular. So we'll start filling things in. This is going to be 33 degrees. This is also going to be 33 degrees. This is going to be 9 meters. This is also going to be 9 meters. And this is going to be X. Okay? So we need to find out what X is. So the way I'm going to, and also, sorry, you know, one more thing is that this entire thing is 18 meters. Okay? These are all the pieces of information we need from the question. So it's handy to redraw it without pictures of castles and water and it. it's just kind of they just kind of get in the way but when you look at it uh, as the most simplified version you can it makes it much easier so what we're going to do is is we're going to find this side a and this side is also going to be the same length so i'm going to call it a as well we need to find this length here and then we can find out what x is because if we know this side and this side and we know the whole thing is 18 then we can find out what x is okay so we're going to use cos so we're going to look at this triangle here, cos 33. So cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So that means cos of 33 is going to be adjacent, which is A, over the hypotenuse, which is 9 meters. Actually, not going to write meters, it's 9. Uh, so that means A is equal to 9 times cos of 33. Stick that into your calculator, and you'll find out that A is equal to 7.45. Oh, no, it's 5.4. And give me a second. La, 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 la. Quick mistake. Seven point five four eight meters. Okay, so that means we can find x. Handily enough, we're going to say x is equal to eighteen minus seven point five four eight minus seven point five four eight. Okay. Uh, and then our final answer for x ends up being 2.904 meters. Okay, so that one was a quick enough example. It's simple enough, but the hard bit there was looking at the real life perspective. And um, so again, sometimes you just have to be able to think about it in terms of a real life problems when the drawbridge closes. Once you get this nine meter bit, uh, then it's just following the normal problem solving steps. So drawing out our triangles using Pythagoras, sine, cos, or tan, or the sine rule or the cosine rule. Um, and you can label the points if you want. I didn't in this particular case, but you could label the points uh, if that makes it clear. So th the only difference, again, is just a leap of faith to find this 9 meters. But uh, anyway, we're going to do some 3D problems in the next few videos. So hopefully this made sense. We're going to move on to 3D problems. Uh, we'll see you next time.